Yeah, off-duty police officer who is working secondary employment at the Giant Eagle here tonight. Uh, they employ officers at the Giant Eagle here. Uh, he was involved in the use of force. Uh, he got alerted inside the store that there was two males that were uh, confronting each other. Um, the one male told the officer that he was going to beat him up, except for the male had a gun in his pocket. Uh, when the officer confronted the male with a gun in the pocket, he went through the store. I uh, came out into the outside here. The officer uh, confronted him, grabbed him. Uh, the male, which time, took off running on him, produced a gun uh, where the officer felt his life wasn't threatened. He fired a couple rounds, striking the male. Um, I think his condition's okay at Metro, as far as I know right now. Um, that's pretty much it. Did the suspect fire at all? Uh, it's still to, uh, to be determined. I'm not sure about that. So he, he turned toward the officer? With or the he gun. With he produced a gun on the officer. How did the officer know that there was a gun when he was inside the store? He saw it? or uh, He saw the gun out here in his pocket. It was quite obvious that he had a gun in his pocket. But oh, but he didn't know that already he had a gun when he was in the store. Well, he was told by the individual he was uh, fighting with that he had a gun. That, inv that individual said he had a gun in his pocket. So it was started there to what the officer saw to the gun being produced out here. But the officer was, well, your officer was not injured? Correct, the officer was not injured, yes. And the, the suspect was who you were saying taken to Metro and you don't know? Correct, I don't know what his condition. I don't think it's life-threatening, but you never want to predict on something like that. We had heard sure he, or sh that he got shot in the buttocks, is that? I don't know that, yeah, okay. I'm not sure, sorry. I mean, how unusual is this for, especially at a grocery store, for someone to have a weapon like this, or is Well, it so this is what's sad. Um, this area, Home Depot, the Target, if you do your uh, stats, there's been a lot of uh, carjackings, there have been a lot of violent things that's happened around here. Um, it's happening in these park lots. You know, and if you guys all remember, these Cleveland Chase started from Home Depot where somebody was getting uh, um, aggravated robbed, or a robbery uh, with a uh, gunpoint. Did, did you find out what they were arguing about in the store? Was No, I, I still for them to determine what, the, what it was a whole, I don't know, yeah. And the other male that did he stick around and was he cooperative as far as you know? Uh, I know he was on scene, so as far as what he told about, uh, investigators, I'm not sure at this time. Uh, all these, a lot of, it's a busy parking lot, a lot of people go around. This could have been, you know, somebody, somebody could have caught a stray, somebody, you don't know what's going to happen. All these people, I mean, was this? That's scary. I mean, we're, I think right now the uh, homicide, you just got another homicide. There's 100 homicides in the city of Cleveland. I mean, I'm not going to tell anybody and take from this story, but we're short. You know, so it's, yes, city cleaning right now is uh, dangerous, and it happens anywhere. It's, no, it's west side, east side, north, south. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're correct. Right. Jeff, does this start at the front of the store? Were they running through the entire store, like no, from back think, to front? Or? I think the male was in the front, and I, from my understanding right now, that could change. He just ran from the front to outside of the store. Um, the fine details, I don't know, you know, as far as where they ran, stuff like that, but that's right now what I'm being told. But he initially, when he ran from the officer, and then he turned around with the weapon, it sounds like? It's so it sounds like, yeah. Okay. There's video to be reviewed. I mean, unfortunately, when you're uh, in these shootings and stuff like this, I mean, you you know, you, you see something, you see a threat, but then sometimes you uh, you see that there's different video and things are different a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure. So how do you think that this could be, because you just talked about it, you said this is a bad area, you guys need officers. Other than that, what do you think could well, I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad area. I'm okay. saying that crimes do happen in these parking okay. lots, so, and we've had numerous uh, things happening in these neighborhoods like this. I mean, we're down 120 to 180 police officers already. I think we're budgeted for another two, 300. I mean, we need more officers on the streets and stuff like that. I'm not saying that this would have been prevented, but a lot more police presence would help out, especially in these areas. What do you think the community can do to kind of help with that? Or could they do anything? No, I mean, it's the next mayor's election. We're going to have to wait and see. Unfortunately, we had to grind through it for the next few months, and hopefully these homicides stop and things like that. Can you talk at all about your officer? I mean, on the years on force, district, vice, you know, is there anything um, you can say? Not much. Just I know he's a, he's a veteran. He's been on for a while. You know, I'll leave everything else for his personal life to do like this, though, but he's been on, I think, 20-plus years. Okay. And did you say he fired two shots? It's believed that right now, but that can always change, too, so, yeah. So. Good. Thanks, Sorry Jeff. about that. Thanks, no, you're good. Thanks Jeff. Thank okay. you. All right, thank you.